Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exo Zeros episode. So today's episode, we're going to discuss the announcement for Fate Court Chance Up for Blue FC Rera, so Guardians, Guardian of the Mines I Rera. Okay, so Rera is, again, was teased a couple of weeks ago, and Rera comes from a parallel world of a new timeline. So the period would be May 20th, would be this Thursday after the maintenance up to may 26th so again um the design actually looks good looks actually kind of kind of on par with her current first guardian design uh, this is a bit more conservative of course but she's all grown up here so let us see her skills Okay, before we go to the skills, let us look at her, you know, the stats that are given to her when you equip Blue Fate Correra. So attack 97 additional and defense 43 additional health and uh, 281 and combat power of 16,200 additional stats equipped. So one Rera with gold and one Rera with blue. Okay, so that the buffs would be applied to um the certain conditions that it gives so obtain fate core guardian of the mind rare buff to chaos type okay let's before we proceed with with the with the breakdown of our skills let us break down first um who are the chaos units that will she help buff okay okay so i have basically sorted out the chaos heroes that we have in the game these are all chaos heroes so that's it's um so if you can see here as proof it's all chaos so first let us determine first if you need blue fate carrera so the question is are you using these heroes so before you summon for if you're not using these heroes um so if you're not using or if they're not in your main PvP team or if if they're the heroes that you're not, you know, it's not in your main team, you would have to consider, you know, if you're going to pull for her or not. Primary hero. So Rera, Janai, Jean, Dorka, not even Jean, Dorka, Valentina, Baraka. Um, those are usually in your main teams that are being used frequently. So, except for Jean, so you have Rera, Jinai, Dorka, Valentina, and Baraka. So, those are the five. So, if you don't have those five, um, I would suggest you, you decide whether, you know, 50-50 whether you're going to pull on Blue FC Rare or not. Because they're going to benefit from her um, most of all, Okay. Um, the other heroes here that that could be you know could be useful and, and will benefit for her would be Deva, Jin, probably soon um, Awaken Zeon if uh, when he gets his FC, Hecken could be one as well that can you know be used. If you're not using these these heroes, um, you won't get the benefit of it of the of the boost or of the buff. So again. Try to consider first who uh, who 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 are the heroes that you are bringing. Are they hero chaos heroes? And if they are, then yes, uh, pull for pull for blue FC Rara. If not, then as much as possible you move on to the next banner. Okay, so we've discussed the the heroes that will benefit from her buff. So more or less, right now you you can decide whether you're going to pull for her or not. Again, she is a good buff if you have those heroes that I mentioned a while ago. Okay, so again, the buff increases as you have um, numerous copies of FC Rera. So multiple copies will do, will increase her buff. And here is the level of increase. So for Fusion 1 at E, Fusion 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is the increase that you'll be receiving for each fusion of fate core okay so take a look at the increase in terms of uh, percentage it's actually good and once you reach level five um five seventy to six thirty percent would be good enough already and 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 combat power is not that bad as well because 
you'll be able to um if you haven't cleared some of the pvp contents because of combat power this will also help you in terms of combat power as well so let's take a look at her skills so she has passive afflicts target uh, sorry, focus fire afflicts target with focus fire mark and decreases that dodge block for one round on basic attack. So gains one mana when target mark dies. Uh, gains one mana if health of target is at 70%. So dimension leap. She has dimension leap. So she actually belongs um, with with the blooming some someday or or I think they call it time walker. So. Um, increases increases dodge for self by 40% and attack by 1000 when attacked and removes all dimension leap mark on self after a successful dodge stacks up to four times okay so this is actually a very good combination with rara um, enhances her dodge as well okay her s1 is is adamant solidarity deals 187% damage to an enemy over time, poisons the target, dealing 82% damage every turn for 3 turns. Deals 50% additional damage for each mana on target where that mana that the target has when you are tranquil. Okay, tranquil, of course, is being applied by Bathory if Bathory has greater attack than Rera. So, next is your S2. You have their Moonlight Arrow, deals 249 piercing damage to all enemies. Deals 50% damage for each mana and target has when you are tranquil. Okay, my my comment on Blue FC Rera because she has her gold fate core and that gold fate core has uh, core memory. I don't think you'll be able to use this FC. Uh, and the, the skills are just more or less um, just decorations or just ornaments there. But I'm I'm sure you don't you won't be able to use her skills. Uh, you won't be able to use this um, FC. You'll be able to use this FC only for buffs. So more or less multiple copies. Then don't upgrade the hero herself unless if you really want to use her kit for this one. But again, the first guardian kit is actually much better than this one. So if you can see. Um, Guardian of the Mines Irera is a blue rated fate core. So again, the fate core chance up is 0.5%. Core mileage is at 28 and you get a free blue fate core rare once you reach that. And the exclusive weapon at the same time, I'm not recommending whether it's a good design or not. So again, this is a just a waste of zest. So more or less, just skip this one. Okay, so for my recommendations again, um... Number one, let, let me go back to what I said earlier. If you have Chaos Heroes that you like buffed, then get her. Especially if those Chaos Heroes are in your core, like Janai, like Baraka, like Rera, of course. Like who else? Um, uh, Dorka. So again, if you have those core heroes, then I think it's a must because you're using them and they will greatly benefit from, um, what do you call this? From blue FC Rera. Okay, I'm actually getting confused about her blue and gold faker, but that is that. Um, if you don't have, if, you're, if most of those heroes are on your secondary teams, I would suggest you don't pull for this banner. Save your zest, especially if you've depleted your zest from the previous pulls from the previous banners save your zest um like me um i don't i don't use rara in my primary team she's using in my third team for janai a uh, janai is my in my second team which i'm not re i'm building right now but really not investing that much dorka i haven't been using since i'm still waiting for her fc um and who else baraka i'm, I'm actually not 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 uh, using i'm only um i've only built uh fc baraka his his blue fate core for only the buffs as well so again if you're a fan of vera be my guest pull for her if you really love the design pull for her but if you really want to maximize your pulls for her please think about who they're going to to affect who are they going to buff and if those heroes 
you will be using those heroes in your main teams, in your you know your main roster, so that you could maximize the buff from Blue Fate Correra. Okay, guys, if you have any comments, please put them right. Please put them down in the comment section below. Also, for those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Around 79% of my viewers have not subscribed yet, so please do because this helps my channel a lot. Okay, guys, thank you. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.